Hello and welcome to our podcast of Junkies. I'm Dave O'Neill. I'm Kitty Flanagan. Welcome to the Sweet and Salty Roundabout. With Get on board. With Possum and the Big Guy. <laughs> They're our nicknames. <laughs> I'm not going to be happy until someone yells out, hey, possum, to you, walking down the street. <laughs> hey, there's possum. Which was given to you by your sister, Penny. Yeah. yeah, Penny. She reckons that late at night I sit up. When she goes to bed, I just sit up there and all she can hear is me in the living room just scrabbling around like a possum, just eating my snacks, <laughs> eating my biscuits, <laughs> eating my chips. I pretend I don't eat anything until she goes to bed and then I get all the junk out. Of course. I'm very excited this week because this is the party mix episode. Yeah. There's other stuff. On the show, mm. but as you said, this is a headline act. This is the, this is the, the feature, feature act? The feature yep. act. The feature act. This yeah, is, we're not building to it. We're blowing it first. We start first. <laughs> we, we, we start with like, this is like going to see the Rolling Stone. We put them on first, <laughs> sport bands later, whatever. And it's a shame that you can't be here because if you're a lolly lover, the room does smell delicious. Oh. We've got three packets of party mix open. Retro party mix from Allen's. Yep. Your classic party mix from Allen's. And also, I've managed to find a Pascal party mix. That I think I've never might, seen before. Yeah, and we're both big fans. It's of the Pascal. wild card, but yeah, I, I don't know. It looks good. I'm I'm going to stake my money on that one. Well, let's let's just talk about the traditional party mix because I am a big fan of the party mix. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of good ones in there. I love a jelly baby. I love a banana. A black cat is one of my right. all time favorite lollies. I, I love a snake, and you often get two or three. I do, I do like a snake, but I don't like snakes anymore. I feel like oh. they're They've changed shape. They're I like, like door stops now. They used to be snakes. I like the green jelly baby. I like the what are they? Red frogs, but they're they're too small for they're me. Not those a real red frogs. Red frog. Yeah. Now I'm going to put it out there. There is one lolly in there which I detest. Oh. Um, wow. And, Let me see if I can guess what it and is. And it is a relatively new one which I I do not like. Oh, I know what it is because I hate it as well. What is it? It's got to be peaches and cream. Yes. <laughs> Boo. Down. Boo. Boo. I thought, it was, is, I thought it was mango and cream. I didn't oh. know what it was. No, it's disgusting. It, I, 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 I eat them. But it's so just, do I. I but they're like always last, yeah. last left in the – I don't mind strawberry and cream. Yeah, they're Not okay. Not bad. Not bad. But they're always left last in the packet. And yeah. my hatred for the peaches and cream is so much so that uh, my daughter made a <laughs> birthday card for me and she had her teddy bear Eddie, who's her teddy bear Eddie, and he had eaten all of my party mix and just left me <laughs> – the peaches and creams. <laughs> and then in the background, there was playing Shania Twain's That Don't Impress Me That Much. And i got to say, <laughs> that don't impress me that much to quote Shania Twain. Wow. You gave me peaches and cream. That don't impress me that much. Oh, 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 oh. Because do you know what? I actually had the peaches and cream down as being in the retro party mix. But no, no now I see they're the lolly that ruins the classic party mix. They're like a cancer. Let's be honest. They're like, <laughs> they're like a, I don't know. Because we didn't have them as kids. We they, they weren't around when well, I was Well, there's no kid. reason for them. There's no reason for them now. Well, there was strawberry and cream, though. They, sure. They've been around for 20, 30 years. But that's, a, that's a classic. The banana has been around forever for over oh, 50 bananas. years. I love the texture I love of banana. Bananas. So do I. I love a banana. And I love a black cat. I love all of them except the peaches and cream. Yeah, ditch the peaches and cream and up the content of the, the quantity of the black cats. There's never enough black no, cats. Never enough bananas, too. Uh, milk bottles are okay. I yeah. eat them, but I don't love them. What's your go-to in the party? What's your first one you grab in the party mix? Well, if I'm eating in order of, you know, I don't want to save my favourites till last, like if I just want to open it and treat myself, yeah. banana. Yeah. Always go the banana. How do you find, though, the, the the consistency of the banana in the party mix? Because I feel that if it was in its own packet with other bananas, it, they're often a better quality because they have – the jubes must take something out of the banana. Do you, do you think they're too soft? Yeah. Oh, I think they take a bit of the – yeah. I don't know if they're taking the banana soul. I don't know what's <laughs> going on in that packet. <laughs> There's something happening in that packet <laughs> where they're often a bit crumbly and stuff. It's like oh, you like them to snap a little like, bit, a bit. Mm. Chew- I like a bit chewy. Yeah, I know. I don't mean. know if, what the banana thinks when it goes into that packet and looks around and goes, "Oh, where's all my mates? Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> why am I in? Why am I in here? It's like they're overripe. They've, yeah, it's like when you put, you know, you have to put a banana with the avocado to ripen. It's yes. like all those other lollies are over ripening the banana yes. lolly. Yeah, Maybe good the, science on this show as yeah, well. Good yeah, science. Yeah. We're like food technologists. <laughs> um, we went to uni, but we didn't do that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I wonder about the banana. But my go-to is often the snake because it's, I think it's the biggest thing maybe. And, yeah. again, I would never buy a bag of snakes, never. Let me put this question to you. Yeah. Do you reckon you can identify a snake by 
colour without looking at it? Like if I yeah. gave you a snake, you could tell me what flavour Yellow, it is? I could do yellow and red, but some of the other ones I couldn't, I don't reckon. I reckon I could do green. Oh, yeah, do we should red. do green, yeah. We'll, we'll do, yeah. Let's, let's do colour tasting another episode because yes. there's too much to get through here. We're still on the classic party mix. All right. Let's, well, let's move on to retro and, and analyse this. I've got to say, the, the idea of retro mm. is, as someone who loves retro and nostalgic stuff, you yeah. know, I mean, I wrote a book about the '80s, so I love the '80s and the '70s. But mm. the, and I, when I first saw this, I just got so excited. Yeah. And then I opened it. I pick it up in the supermarket all the time, thinking, "Oh yeah, I will love this." And then I go, "Oh no, that's right. I don't like many of those." Yeah, because I mean, what, what, so what makes it different from? You've got the lolly teeth. Yeah, I don't. Now like you the don't reckon teeth. they're any good anymore? No, nah, they used to be. They used to be bigger, chewier, and more curved. Yeah, and you can't put them in your teeth and pretend they're teeth no. like we used to when we were kids. No. Nah. I'm anyone now, they're sorry. They're not fun. No. Nah. I like the, the flavour, though. I I'll tell you flavor. what I do like, which is an odd one for me to like. I like the cars. Oh. I never had them as a kid. No, they, no but again. I, I don't remember them as retro, but I like re- the cars. They're not retro. But I, I do that's, like them. You know what? If that's, and they've got the Coke bottles, which I like. They've got the Coke bottles and they've got the pineapples, which are retro. Pineapples are good. Pineapple's definitely good. Then, of course, strawberry and creams gets in there. I, I hope peaches yeah. and creams don't make no, there's no peaches filthy and cream way in there. In there. <laughs> uh, there's Coke bottles, which I don't like And then what are these Kiss ones that look like lips? They're yeah, just they're, like a raspberry frog. Yeah, they're just lips, they're called, but I don't remember them. And are they? A, is that a honey, honey bear? Honey bear, boo. You don't want, nah. your, you don't want your lollies flavoured by honey. What, are we in a yeah. health food shop? <laughs> are they going to say there's date treats in there next? <laughs> Bit of carob floating yeah. about. <laughs> if they were serious about the retro party mix... I mean, there's no bananas in there. No. Bananas are a retro thing. Where's your must sticks? Oh. Where's your fruit stick? I'll tell you, the danger of putting a must stick in there is a bit like the banana. It yeah. would flavour everything else in there. I, I wouldn't care. Because do you I love do a must stick? I love a must stick. I love a must stick. Do you remember slate pencils? No, what are they? Oh, they were these delicious kind of grey. They came next to the um, must sticks mm. in the, in the you know, Contain in the um, window where you oh, choose yes, one of those, yes. and you used to suck them to a point. They were kind oh. of just a little bit like a. Because in 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 that um, same world is the Big Boss cigar. Which, yeah, well, they were. I was mm. going to say they were similar sort of. They were between the texture of a mustic and a fag or a oh, fad, as they're called now. Fad these days, and Big yeah. Boss cigars are. Big Boss exploding sticks, I believe. Right, <laughs> and they always had a little red tip on the end. Oh, love, You'd suck a, a uh, slate. That was pencil. a great flavour. I love yeah. that. Yeah. I love that flavour of the Big Boss cigar. So Ooh. if you're serious about your retro party mix, um, Alan's, I think you should consult Dave and I. And, and also, we can help you make a better bag. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know this is out, but mates or cobbers, you know, they're very retro, which yeah. is like a fantail. I'll be honest, though, I don't want chocolate in, no. my, in my bag of lollies because sometimes they melt. And, but, yeah, I don't want chocolate in there. But if we're talking going back to the 70s when you would go into the milk bar and go, one, of, one, of, those, one, one of, those. of those, one of those, one of those, one of those, and the guy in the blue coat, you know. Yeah. Who'd worked very hard in Italy or Greece to come here and then ended up serving us in milk bars. Yeah. What a life. How did they ever make money out of, like, the amount of time we took choosing those bags of lollies one at a time? And then going, how much have I got left? Yeah. You know, you could never do the maths in your head. Yeah. <laughs> You'd always go, one of those, one of, how much have I got left? Oh, okay, I've still got five cents I can get. <laughs> it was a great time, though. Now, one of my friends, uh, James Penelitis, a photographer, his parents owned a milk bar in the west of Melbourne, and he said they made all their money, not from lollies, but from supermarkets closing at five. Yeah. And then the housewives coming in to get milk and bread after five and, and other flour and stuff, that's where they made their money. Yeah. It wasn't the lollies, he said. Yeah, those shops that were open on Sundays. Yeah. And you'd come home from church and they'd be the only yes. shop open to get the milk at. And it was always, in our neighbourhood, they were always called the robbers. The robbers, um, yeah, just because the prices were so expensive, yeah. because they could be, and so, but everyone in the neighbourhood just would go, "Oh, you're going to get those at the robbers." The robbers, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Who's open? Oh, the robbers will be open. Just go get the milk at the robbers. Well, I would say, you know, currently the normal party mix is winning, but we're going to move on to the Pascal yeah, party just, pack. I just want to make sure we didn't miss anything from the um, the retro. The retro, we got cola bottles, honey bears. Now, what's retro man? I it, don't see retro man in there. I can't see is that retro. retro man. What is Retro that's Man? That's Retro Man. Is I don't a, even know what that lolly that's like is. That's made up. Yeah, that's not. What is that? That's like a well, reject. Apparently that's Retro Man. Oh, it's just like a jelly baby, a bad jelly baby. <laughs> they don't even have jelly babies in there. Nah. All the good lollies are in the classic mix. Yeah. Okay. The Paschal. Now onto the. Uh, oh, this looks the good. The ring in. The Pascal now, party mix. Now, I love these. What? This is like a banana, but it's pink. 
Yeah. Are they the um Oh, they're raspberry flavoured or something. I think they're the Eskimos. Are they the Eskimos? Yeah, they're the Eskimos. Oh, I probably can't say that now. They're the First they're, Nations. They're the Inuit. They're the Inuit. <laughs> and we've got the banana. Banana's not bad. Good banana? Yeah. And they've got, I like, I prefer their jelly worms to the snakes. I just like the, the finer. It's got cr- like a crinkle cut sort of Yeah, and they texture. only come in two flavours, which is annoying. I just, um, I just love the amount of bananas and the amount of the – A lot uh, of bananas. The, you, the Inuit uh, that are in here. Well, the, the Inuits are like the same texture as a banana, so it's like you get another banana because, you know, that's the beauty of the banana is the texture. And with another – I call them foam lollies. Yeah, I don't know what – they're the, kind of like foam I don't know what the technical jelly. term is, but I love foam lollies. And yeah. these days the only foam lollies you can get are bananas. Yeah. But growing up I remember there were more of them around. Yes, you're right. And different flavours. See, that the that one is like a, the, the Inuit uh, is a – I don't know what we should call them. Well, it says a, they're called Eskimos on the Eskimo. packet. All right. But. So um, they're like a raspy flavoured. Yeah, they're very mm, good. They're very good. And I also like the Jet Plane because I do love oh, a jelly and it's yeah. a solid amount of jelly lolly. In that jet plane. And they're hard. Oh, that's a good flavour. That's a yeah. very good lime. <laughs> a very good lime. I've got to say, that's better, that's better than the Ellen's lime. Yeah. See, I'm a, I'll tell you what, I'm a convert to the Pascal Party yeah, Bag. Yeah, the Pascal Party Mix is a good mix, and you don't find it often. I think well, they've got jelly babies too, but the jelly babies aren't much cop. I'd be very interested to know where they're made. Because I know Ellen's is made in Broadford, yeah, which is just outside of Melbourne. You see the sign oh, as you're man, driving. Look at this. The bananas just keep coming. I'm tipping man. them out trying to find a jelly baby, but there aren't any. It's all just. So I know Ellen's are Australian made. In fact, they're Victorian made in the COVID state. I don't know where the Pascal are made. I'm always... Maybe New Zealand. New Zealand makes all the good lollies. Uh, Ringwood, uh, Melbourne. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, New Zealand do make some good lollies. What are these? Wow, so they they are. I've that's never like seen a, those. That's like a, a leaf, is it? Yeah. It's not a spearmint leaf, though. N- none of these packets have got spearmint leaves. Wine gums, jet planes, Eskimo, jelly worms, and more. Maybe that's a more. <laughs> 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 well, i got to say, I'm really yeah. impressed by the Pascal Party Pack. Yes, the number of the sh- on the sheer number of bananas and other foam lollies, I would have to give it to I just, the Pascals. I just think they've got to up their distribution. So you know what I mean? I don't know, I, I, Alan's obviously have some kind of monopoly. Yeah, I think you're right. Going on, and Pascal, I've never seen that. Pascal is like your friend. Pa- Pascal, <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see Pascal. Yeah, my French friend in the um, in the supermarket or in the service station. You know, I'm giving two thumbs up to Pascal Party Pack. I'm giving a thumbs up to the Alan's Classic Party Mix, and just a thumbs down. Yeah, even two thumbs down to the Retro Party Mix. Just don't bother. And also, Alan's, you would have got closer if you got rid of the peaches and cream, or they are. Yeah, that would have been the definitive. Yeah. They should move the racing cars into the yes. classic party mix, get rid of the peaches and cream. Exactly. All right, job done. That was, that was quite uh, <laughs> definitive. Oh, party mix. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Never want another word. That's the final <laughs> word on the party mix, people. No correspondence will be ended into. All right? Well, that's a lot to get through. I have to say packets. I'm not losing any of those. Okay, well, let's do Please Discuss. And we're going to talk about something that we've had a bit of correspondence. A little bit of correspondence, yeah. Mm. Um, I got contacted by a lady who owns a cookie dough company. I wow. think it's called Someone's Cookie Dough Company. I can't yeah. quite remember. But Lorraine's Cookie Dough maybe, Company. No, I think it started with a K, but I can't remember. Karen's. Kerry's. Kerry's. Kerry's, Kerry's Cookie Dough Company. It's got a ring to it. And she started a cookie dough company because she couldn't find cookie dough. And she said, did we want to sample some of her cookie dough on this podcast. Yes. And at first I thought, sure, it'll be a bit hard. I'll have to take that cookie dough. I'll have to bake it into cookies. But I'm all for cookies. I love cookies out of the oven. Fantastic. But then I discovered it's cookie dough that you just eat. And I get yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. I, I, I was trying to remember. I've been to a cookie dough bar before yeah, in don't... Europe. Went to one in Berlin. And was... is it raw? Like, could you cook it? I was in Berlin hanging out with Nick Cave. And he said, <laughs> 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 him and Vin Vendors were going to go to the cookie dough bar. <laughs> And so we, I was very keen for it, and so we went to some suburb. Let's, I'd heard, and you you have it with ice cream, but they'd run out of ice cream. So the woman goes, "You can just have it normally. People just eat it." And so I assume it's it doesn't have raw egg in it because you can't serve that kind of raw egg. So it's just it, look, it wasn't it wasn't great. I've got to say, if I threw, you cooked I threw, it, I threw mine in the, in the bin. But if you cooked it, would it turn into a cookie? I don't reckon, no. I reckon it's a different thing. 
So is, is it like licking the bowl? Yes. But, but in not. a giant bit? Yeah. Yeah, and I, th- yeah. I, I think it's an American thing. I think I really think it's an American phenomenon, even though the cookie dough bar I went to was in Berlin. But you know what I went to in Berlin? It's not yeah. a um, yeah. sweet thing. I went to the um, the potato restaurant. Oh, wow. Potato being my favourite vegetable. And they just serve, like, there's 20 items on the menu and it's a like cast iron skillet comes to your table Whoa. and it's just fried potatoes with whatever of the 20 choices you made. So, like, you know, number one would be and just potato. potatoes, bacon, you know, tomato or fried up onions together. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Oh, it's the best. And they, just, they bring you a big pan of fried potatoes Why do I know stuff. this? It's Mate, called the Kartoffel House, the Potato House. Wow. It was my first stop when I got to Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we went to the Ramones Museum. There's a Ramones Museum in Berlin. Fantastic. We can have cake <laughs> and, and see all the Ramones stuff. Anyway, um, look, I reckon get it sent, sent to us. I'll Co- eat it. Cookie d- <laughs> I'll eat it. All right, I'll, I'll get in touch. But cookie dough for me is a bit like fudge. Yes. I'm not a big fudge eater. No. And people make it a lot as well. It's one of those things you get yeah. at Christmas from people. It's like, oh, I could, yeah. I'd rather no, of, thanks. I'd rather a bit of hedgehog. I'd like rather they just made me a cake or some cupcakes. Yeah, yum. But fudge, hedgehog, I do like that. That's the one with the biscuit. Yeah, I like hedgehog. I like just a chocolate slice that you make at home. You know, oh, one of those really yes. simple ones that you used to just put yeah, in the fridge, no baked chocolate slice. Yeah, mum used to make that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I made lemon slice the other day. Oh, that's good too. Ooh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, fudge, fudge is a no for me, and cookie dough is is yeah, you know, just the texture well, of it. We'll get some, and we'll oh, see how right, we go. That's true. We should. I'm, I shouldn't write it off. We'll see Let's how we try. go. I'll we'll get try. in touch. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have a blind test, and we we've both brought in chips. Uh, yeah, uh, not corn chips, the potato chip, and there seems to be so many exotic flavors around now. And I'm gonna guarantee. Yeah, Dave hasn't seen or heard of these chips. Oh, I can't wait. These were purchased for me. Someone rang me and said, I've found the best flavour of chip. The Do you want it for your podcast? wasn't in Japan or somewhere. No, 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 no. No, it's, it, right it's here, here in Australia. They are, they are, okay, yeah. well, you you get out your chips. And you leave, leave the, the room, room while I say what flavour it is. Okay, excellent. All right, all right. I'm leaving the room. Mm, okay, he's leaving the room. Gonna... Okay, so today... Dave will be trying to guess the flavour. American hot dog. It's a thin and it's a potato chip, a thins potato chip. And the flavour is American hot dog. Irresistibly tasty according to the packet. Hang on, I'll just get him back in. Yeah, you can come back in now. That's all right. I'll put it. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll actually. I'll get my chips out for you, okay. and I'll put them in a bowl. Let me get a bowl here. I don't think. Okay, you're. Leaving. She's leaving the room. Okay, what I've got for Kitty. <laughs> what I've got for Kitty is sizzling beef. It, it's done in an with an Oriental. Well, that's probably an Asian font. And uh, I got these from Irene at the uh, 7-Eleven, my local 7-Eleven, and uh, they were on special. They were only $2 a packet, so I can't imagine what they're like. You can come back in, Kitty. That's all done. That's all here. She's gone. I don't know. Who's she going for a jog? Okay, so we're ready to go. Sizzling beef. See if she gets it. Okay, wow. Really, really missed you. <laughs> the party mix is still sitting here. Oh, I'm going to eat, so eat some of that party mix, let me tell you. All right. Well, do you want to try? Do you want to? Oh, you've got a crinkle card, and I've, I've got, got a, a thin. Card. Interesting. Okay. Mm, okay. Push those towards you. Yeah, we'll both try them at the same time. Yep. All right. I'm gonna smell on this. What are you thinking? I'm. I. Th- okay. I, 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 I want to try it too because I've never tried it. I'm going to rule out some stuff. Okay. They're not chicken. They're not chicken based. They're not cheese. They're not salt and vinegar. I believe they're a meat. Oh, well done! Yeah, they are a meat. a meat. So they've got like a they've got like a beefy kind of lamb texture. Okay, but I would say, are they a beef variety? Uh, no, it's it's hard to say because it's a mystery meat. Oh, okay. So yeah. Dave just oh, took a lick. Hamburger. Oh, you're you're really close. Hmm. Ha- 
You, mm. You're right in the ballpark there. If you didn't get a hamburger, you might get. No, it's not hot dogs. Oh, it? it is. It's hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first time. First time someone's guessed it. Oh, I can. Yeah. Can you taste it now? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I I used to um, work in a hot dog shop in the eighties. It was my part time job. Yeah. And um, I ate so many hot dogs. It's a true story. The, the guy sacked me because he said I was selling, <laughs> selling the rolls to opposi- the opposition hot dog shop where, in fact, I was just eating them. So, And I couldn't eat hot dogs for years after that. Well, I don't yeah, think they – Yeah, you can taste. It's the mustard that you yeah, can taste? Yeah yeah. 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 I I wouldn't have guessed it as hot dog. Well, hot dog so I'm really impressed you came very close. Hot dog traditionally pork, pork and beef. A bit of well, pork, I think right? horse. Yeah, I think – Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you try the one. Okay. This is a, it's a very, um, it's, yeah, it's a very oily looking chip. Mm-hmm. It's got a lot of flavouring sort of sprinkled Ooh. on it. Oh. No good? Oh. <laughs> okay, it's really recognisable. Is it? Um, Can I what? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I know what it Ooh. is, so. Oh, there's, there's something, um, oh, I'm going to be really disappointed when you tell me, because I know what that is. And it doesn't smell though. It hasn't got a strong smell. No, it hasn't but got a strong a, smell. Is Ooh, it that. is it some sort of meal? Yes. Like a meal yeah. based yeah. thing. It's like, a dish you get. It's a dish you it's get. A dish. At a certain restaurant. Is it Is it Asian? Yes. Oh, very good. Okay, there's an I was Asian. saying the, the um the lettering is in a, a Asian. Oh uh, I I think I might have seen them. I I th- I'm going to say it's teriyaki chicken, but that's only because I've seen the packet. No. It's not teriyaki no. chicken. Okay. No, it's not a chicken, no, not but chicken. you're very close. You oh, would... I know what it is. Yeah. It's like um, it's like Mongolian lamb. No, it's, it's not like, lamb. Like... Very – again, oh, again, really? you would get the teriyaki chicken, you would get the Mongolian <laughs> lamb, and then you would get this one. Oh, I, don't I know, know when we go to a, 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 the Thai restaurant, we get this one. Okay, so it's beef then. Yeah, it's beef. Because you Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've played through all well, the meats. Could be pork. <laughs> Do you want me to reveal no. it? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Sizzling beef. Oh, sizzling beef. So, like, comes on a hot oh, plate. Yeah, I, that's why I said <laughs> Mongolian lamb. It comes yeah. on the hot plate. Oh, yeah, you're very close. Mm. Very close. Yeah. Well, there you go. Would you recommend? I wouldn't recommend hot dog. No. And I wouldn't recommend that either. No, I wouldn't recommend either of those. <laughs> <laughs> I think what's well, becoming apparent is that just you know your classic. Plain salt and vinegar and chicken yeah. chips and barbecue chips are the classics for a reason. <laughs> yeah, and there's a there's a reason why that's got a sticker on saying I'm now just two dollars. <laughs> yeah, no wonder you're well, two I'll bucks. I'll show you what mine. I think. I, I, I want to see the hot dog packet. Um, yeah, these were. Oh my god, they're thins. Yeah, proper yeah. thins. And I think it's like an American uh, Independence Day special yeah. item. They were from Aldi. That's what wow. my friend. That's I've never seen them because I don't. I've never seen them. I don't even know where an Aldi. We've got to take a. Photo of that and put that on uh, Instagram. But yeah, if you somewhere. want some hot dog flavoured chips, they're at Aldi. There we go. <laughs> I do love a hot dog, though, if I make it myself. Oh. And I know where the Frankfurt came from. Hot dogs are great. I like gherkin relish on mine. Oh. That, when I worked <laughs> in the hot dog shop, there was about 12 different flavours. Oh. And gherkin relish wasn't that popular. Um, what's the number one? What's Yellow the number mustard. One? No, no, sauce, just sauce. Oh, sauce. So the most common questions you got in a hot dog shop, number one. Do you sell hot dogs? And that's always sold. <laughs> <laughs> number two, what do you reckon number two is, um, can you have sauce on your hot dog? And I used to go, no, we, for, we, we forbid it. Oh, people did. And the third one was, are your hot dogs hot? <laughs> <laughs> Where was the hot dog shop? I was in Turak Road in Melbourne, and this was in the 80s when Turak Road used to be a very happening strip. It was like, uh, you know, a popular Young people would go out to nightclubs and bands and stuff. And there was a whole – in Melbourne in the 80s, there were several hot dog shops. Uh, what that, is that? Do you mean like the vans outside no, no, the nightclubs? shops. <laughs> but there were vans as well. But there were actually several – but maybe two – there was one in Smith Street, Collingwood. There was a few of them that just – you know, they popped up for five years and then died yeah, right. off. And they were very much a late night thing. Yeah. They opened at four in the morning. Mm. And the sauces were tomato sauce, barbecue sauce, gherkin relish, mint relish. Mm. Gherkin Fruit relish. chutney, oh, no. electro sauce, which was a combination of uh, gherkin relish sauce and mustard, and all the mustards, English mustard, French yeah. mustard, American mustard, and cream cheese was very popular. Mm. Do you know what chef's special sauce is? No, I won't. It's a mixture of barbecue sauce and mayonnaise. Oh, yeah. It's delicious on a bacon sandwich. Yeah. Chef's special sauce. 
Well, we've covered off hot dogs. Thanks for listening to the podcast. <laughs> we will return. <laughs>